Hello everyone, my name is Jamal Thomas. I am your host. This is the Progressive Soapbox. And of course, this is my lovely wife. Co-host. Co-host. For patron contributor appreciation. Contributor. And it's hard, right? It's hard to change Miss, that over after you've done it for so long. Mrs. Jamal Thomas. Or Mrs. Th- uh, Mrs. Yeah, Mrs. Mrs. Thomas. Thomas. I, I, you know, I'm always a little weirded out by the um, Mrs. Jamal Thomas thing because it feels like an ownership thing. Mrs. Jamal Thomas is like how you sound like your wedding and your wedding thank yous and like that's what it says like on your. I don't think it says Mrs. Jamal Thomas. It does. It says Mr. and Mrs. Jamal Thomas. No way. When you do your wedding stuff, it does. It's ownership. It's I the same. You. It's the same justification. It's like taking that... your name. Well, it's taking your identity. That's worse than taking your name to some grass. I shouldn't say your name is your identity. But it's like um it's like the same reason a woman can't walk around with no shirt on. Like that's such an odd they thing can. to me. <clears throat> they can't walk around without a <laughs> bra on and they can't let their breasts hang free. I do whatever I want to. No and I'm, no breasts, I'm no in this thing of free bra, the nipple. No. Have you seen guys like they have these videos where guys will a woman will be breastfeeding a guy would be like, Miss, can you go somewhere else to do that? Oh, can you imagine that? I can't wait to have kids and breastfeed all over the fucking place. Just everywhere. Just in the park. Everywhere. Like, just <laughs> whip it out, feed the kid, and I dare you to say something. You like, me? No, not you, but like a stranger. Somebody else? I dare you to walk up to me and tell me to put my boob up. I think you can do that less today. But what? definitely. What, crazy on them? No, 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 no. This this thing of um, where guys would shush or tell the oh, woman yeah. not to do that. That just seems like an extraordinary thing to me. I'm going to have like a a slew of like media i don't know like maybe like pictures or something of like women's boobs you know like how where? where are you putting these pictures they're like gonna be in my baby bag so that when people You're keeping come up to pictures me, of women's breasts in your baby so bag? that when pe- men come up to me and they're like ma'am that's not just called ma'am porn. that's inappropriate it's not gonna be naked it's gonna be like swimsuits and i'm gonna be like is this inappropriate do you find this inappropriate how about this bob wait, 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 wait. were their tits showing it's gonna be like women that are out in the public that i mean like no, not their actual nipple. Then what's the, how is that the same? And maybe I'll put some porn in there. That's a good point. Maybe I'll put some porn in there. I mean, those guys, if those guys watch porn, but see, they would make the argument, well, this is done in private. I mean, porn is not done in private. I well, wasn't talking not. about that. I'm talking about like swimsuits and. I get your argument. Your argument is, look, and it, technically, you if observe, I'm feeding you my child, love the you fact see the that nip. these women show these breasts all the time and you're right. You got to pop her breasts. You have no issue with these was, breasts. Was swimsuits. this inappropriate? I guess you're missing my point. Is that I'm just. I get your point. I'm just saying the point doesn't quite hit where they're going to. Their thing is, but your point is, well, you're not seeing the nipple anyway. You're not seeing the nipple my anyway. My point is, it's the mine. kids. It's mine. Mouth is on the nipple. I'm feeding this child. Get out of my face. See, my point would be a little slightly different. My point would be, it's a breast. Your mom had them. Half of the population has them. If well, man can we'll walk there, out with no shirt on, then it's no reason. And maybe I'll be the one who's making the. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Now, since we'll be there, I'll have my, you know, like, enraged moment and, like, show the pictures and be like, what about this bomb? Do you like this, Stuart? And then you can be, you can do your more <laughs> sane presentation. It's not really a presentation. I just think he's wrong. Okay. And it's just making the case we're wrong. Like I like um, it's not that I think it's more sane. It's just I think this notion that women can't show their breasts is nonsense. I feel you do. I think the premise of it is nonsense. I think the premise of it is men having a certain domination and wanting to keep women chaste, and is doing so in this kind of impersonal way of society itself making a determination by saying, "Oh, it's lewd when women show their nipples, but it's not okay when men do so." I think this is nonsense. It's just a nonsense proposition to me. I, 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 I am perfectly okay with having a conversation with some random asshole who comes up and, and says something like that. And you will. You will. Because if they do, I'll be like, wait a minute. Let me get my husband on the phone. I w- oh, no. God. On the phone. I would hope. I have hope for the opportunity to be able to do this in, in a third person way. Like, if I'm near somebody and with a guy who does that. Person. Yes. That's what well, I'm so I've been waiting for the opportunity. So what about if they're shushing me? Oh, don't get me wrong. I would get involved. Clearly. Okay. But... It's a little different when it's somebody who is like, you know, like those videos where you would see where there's like. See, Miss T says you can't even see the nipple. She calls it a T because, you know, she's breastfed apparently. But you can't even see the nipple when a mom is breastfeeding. So it's the same. It takes a moment. So I'm whipping out those pictures and be like, what about this? Stuart? There's a split second. No, it's not. I mean, like, plus also. Also, if I was a woman, I'd be slow whipping her. I, like, honestly, <laughs> like we're, we're making. <laughs> That's what I'd be doing. God had a plan when you came in with the penis. He knew what he was doing. Okay, so <laughs> I'm saying this and I'm making this argument, but they have these little like what about I think it's called like a utter cover. 
So where it's, it's called like utter cover. Yeah, I don't know, but I've seen that's it not like sexist on, at all. I've seen it on TV where it's like um, it's artist? like a blanket for like you cover your baby, you cover the yourself and the baby, and it's a blanket that kind of um, maybe more of a lefty on this. My point is, why do you have to do that? No, it's not about having to. It's my personal thing. I'm wanting to <laughs> keep yourself covered, and I'm I, clearly I'm screwed by society too because I felt like my breasts are sexual. Yeah. So I don't, you know. Well, they are in some context. So, but when they, when my child is eating, it won't at be. that point, you know, that's, oh, it. That's, that's, that's that's too that's much, different. too much. I'm curious how women go from, and we're getting all the way, just completely off the rails. I think this is an interesting topic, but we're get, I mean, because we're getting to this thing of a paternalistic society, and that paternalistic society having things that have gone through the generations that have been accepted by the population of the society, men and women, as being normal, and I'm saying they're not normal they just are cultural artifacts this notion of women not being michelle impress is a cultural artifact not I being able to you. breastfeed is wait wait artifact. i understand all that i'm curious to know because miss t says something about she's a seven year breastfeed she's has breastfeed a. For right on miss t i want to know Dude, this shit public yo how does it feel for a woman to go from a sexualized nip to what do you mean a functional like i'm kind of curious on how that will feel because like my you understand there's no such thing as sexual my, no 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 you're you're misunderstanding what i'm saying i'm talking about the feeling of the breast because like right now oh, my I breasts see, I see. feel like a sexual thing and like if they're touched or something like that then it's a sexual experience you think you'll be turned over by your kid I it's like Every time that kid sucks my nipple, I For get aroused. For the record, that is not what I said. Well, you said, how do you go from one to the other? I'm just wondering, like, and then, like, too, like, so, like, if I'm breastfeeding today, and then, like, I put my kid down for a nap, and then I go to fool around, like, how milk does that... comes up. Like, how does that, how does that work? There's still milk production after that. No, I understand that. But, like, like if you do, like, a little rub... Does Is person. it gone? You know what I mean? Like, am I going to be like, oh, no, that's not sexual for me anymore. Like, I'm curious how all that works. My kid has been breastfeeding, so I'm not interested in sex anymore. Miss Tree has... I mean, that's, that's what you're... That's how you feel? No, that's what you're asking. Oh, I was like, wait a minute. No, that, that sounds like what you're asking. It's like... <laughs> right, that's what I want to know. Up to this point, for the, for the last 30-something years, my nips have only been used for sexual gratification. And now... Oh, and sometimes I push my shirt up when it gets too hot. And now, it's going to be used <gasps> for... Kid Garden stuff. Gnome, is that true? What? Garden Gnome just said, he's he's lying. Who I don't believe it? Garden Gnome. I'm going to have to look into this. He said, Aisha, women talk about having orgasms when breastfeeding. That's just the way it works. Formula. That might be true. <laughs> I mean, uh, like, why would it? Here's the thing. And I love the fact that Garden Gnome mentioned that. There, like, there is an idealized version of the world that doesn't exist. Like, um, one of the things that, one of the best, best things that I got from um, James Baldwin, and it's, it's the most innocuous thing in the world, he said when he started reading other people, like Dory, uh, Dostoevsky and all this other stuff, he started to realize that the things that he experienced in life that he was ashamed of are just human things. And he's like, why am I ashamed of things that are right. just human? They're cultural overlays. So in this case, you're like, wait a minute, I've used this nip for sex for 30-something mm -hmm. years, and now this kid is going to be feeding me on it. Is there, you know, clearly... God had to have made it in some way where there's a partition between the sexual part and the kid feeding part. And Garden Gnome is like, there's no God. <laughs> He's like, there's no God in this process. Somebody said they've heard the same thing. That's fucking hilarious. We're I would imagine those women are Ms. ashamed Tree by says, that. Miss Tree be. says, we're hormonal cocktails. I occasionally wish to wring other moms' necks who deny their babies while shopping sale racks. This Mrs. Mom's pissed me off. Wait, wait, denying their babies? I don't know what that means. Maybe like to, to drink, like to feed. Oh, okay. Or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how we got onto this topic. I think women should be breastfeed. That's breastfeed. my law. Well, that's... With the exception of women who can't do it. of men who have too much opinion and try to regulate... I'm not trying to regulate your body. You just said that I should be forced to breastfeed my child. Should that kid be forced to drink formula? Even though that formula is worse for that kid? This is a great segue into the abortion law, anti-abortion law. But see, the slight difference here is the kid isn't born for Republicans. The kid is born for me. Now, granted, I'm being provocative here, but I'm going to hold this position. Fuck it. I don't know if I necessarily believe this, but I'll defend the position. Should that kid have rights when that kid is born? You have to feed it. You have to take care of I it. I know, but it's not like I'm feeding him bleach. You don't know that. 
Well, can I say it this way? Formula does keep the kid alive. Right, that's what I'm Brand. saying. It, no, it is. I don't believe that it is beneficial. And I think that scientifically and studies breast say... Breast milk is better. Yeah. Right, that breast milk is better. But that doesn't mean that you're doing harm to your child by giving them formula. In which case, a law to force me to breastfeed? Shouldn't you want what to do the best What if I don't want your... that orgasmic possibility? Should... So you're willing for your kid to get a raw deal because like, you don't want maybe them to go I, some way? Maybe I feel like I want to keep my breast sexualized. But how do you know? I don't know. I'm just giving a And point. if you want to keep your breast sexualized, why have a kid? Because I want to have a kid. That's a small part. I mean, that's, you know, that's that's not the, the end all or be all, like you would say, of having a kid is how but they're fed. But if they know that formula is worse for that kid, and if they know there are certain qualities of breast milk that, A, get the mother closer to the kid in one sense, and is more beneficial for the nutritional let's say, growth of that child. Are you really, because of a fashion statement, yeah. want a worse situation no, for your kid? No, a fashion statement. You said, I want my breast sexualized. Okay, no, or I'm for sexual no, I'm gratification. Not, I'm not, right, for sexual. I want my, my body to still feel sexy. Then how, why have a kid? Because I still want to have a kid. You don't breastfeed for the whole 18 years of, or, or, or how, 45 years of taking care of that kid. But that kid does either benefit or to the detriment of if that kid for many years on. somebody made it the point that some people can't breastfeed. Oh, and I, I'm positive that. I said, unless they can't. My my provocative statement was, you, I don't women want you should to be force forced, me. Wait, wait. Women should be forced to breastfeed by a law with exceptions of women that can't. Like if you're putting women out battery forced, acid. Women should be forced to have children with exceptions that it's uh, health risk. But I don't think that. But this is That's right in the extreme. same vein. This is right in the same vein. It's not. And, and you you're want me, you, I think you're, you're forcing the, something the, that I have to do with my body. The other part of that is the kid. You're missing the kid. You act like I'm going to let him starve. Breast milk is the best milk. It is. They and I agree. And I plan on possibly, not possibly, I plan on breastfeeding my future possible children. But why should you force your kid for a lesser scenario? Do you realize breastfed kids are smarter? On average, stronger. On average, healthier. On average, I know and you all that. Your, and you want your kid and that to is have why a that, worse scenario. No, that is why that will be my decision. But I'm saying is to breastfeed you're okay my child. With other women, but Sally decides for whatever reason that she sits down and concocts in her brain. Right. I'm not going to feed my child my breast milk, and I am going to give my child formula. And the rest of society has to deal with the fact that Sally did that. Meaning, the rest of society has to deal with a weaker kid, not just a weaker kid. It's for what if when they're doing research, they find that on average, kids who are fed, let's say, formula milk, have lower weights, have more illnesses, have have a higher probability of, let's say, lower IQ. And you can correlate that in a statistical fashion. Are you telling me that society should be OK with putting kids in a second tier? Because the mom, for whatever reason, maybe she just wants to be sexy or she doesn't want... What about want... kids who go to, like, lesser schools? Wait, wait. I'm, I'm just making this point. But I, I don't think kids should go to lesser schools. I guess my point is, should that kid get a choice in the matter when that kid can't get a voice? Meaning, should society speak for that kid when that kid can't say what that kid has to say? And society saying, all right, we want you to have kids. If you want to abort that kid, fair point. That's what I mean. But once that kid is here, you got to do what's in the best interest for that kid. And I'm sorry... Those nuts are in the best interest of that kid. Now, you could say, well, what about pumping stations? Moms should be able to sell their breast milk, in which case people could just buy sold breast milk. I'm okay with that. I shut up. But those things should be used in the interest of that kid. What? Okay. It's provocative. Garden Gnome makes a cute, makes a, um, <laughs> Jay Scott breastfeeder go to jail. <laughs> it's a penalty. It's a financial penalty. It's not a jail penalty. What kind of financial penalty? That's what the law, lawmakers work out. And by the way, this is the abortion thing, right? It says if you get an abortion, you go to jail. And then people are like, what's the penalty? You're going to put people in jail? And that's where people it's get T all says, get sketchy. It's like, oh, man, I don't know what put doctors or moms in jail. Miss T says, no teat, no public school entrance, just like vaccines. That might be one way to end. Moms breastfeeding. That way you don't necessarily to have to. I'm, I'm being provocative with this argument. You realize. But I can hold this I'm argument. Saying, I don't like it. But I can hold it. I, I can hold like it. it. I can be on stage with it. I mean, it's not that I like it. I don't like this notion of putting moms in jail. But when you talk about the larger context of society and you start looking and say, okay, is there a statistical correlation with moms who breastfeed, meaning in the outcomes of those kids, versus moms that don't? 
And if you find that there's a statistical correlation, how do you ignore that? That just means that people who don't breastfeed have a weaker kid. And then you say, okay, well, why well, aren't like they breastfeeding? to what degree? I mean, I mean, my thing would be like to what degree? Uh, and there's no guarantee that X, Y, Z is going to happen. Statistical. In which case that that's enough grounds for you to force a woman what to do to do that with her body. What about the kid? Keep forgetting about the kid. You act like the kid is going unfed. I'm not saying that the kid is going unfed. I said the kid get a worse okay, outcome. Okay, so so for for foods that are determined to be unhealthy for a kid, are you going to force? Are you going to put a law on stipulations on what, what, and what I would type do? of food? You know what? Maybe, God, King Thomas maybe vegetables do? should only be organic for your kids because now the rest of the world has to suffer because you gave him pesticide ridden. God, I King mean, like Thomas. how far? How, how far, far is do this going to go? I, I Starts acknowledge with breast milk, and that is with my own body. I acknowledge that, that I have to give to this. That child. I tend to be a little bit more hard ass on this stuff because I look at it from the larger outcomes of what does society look like when such things in the place. For example, McDonald's. There will be no McDonald's in my world. Now, do I need to outlaw McDonald's? Probably not. But if a person gets food, I don't necessarily want that food to kill them twenty years later. If you find out that the food that people are eating, let's say McDonald's, Burger King, Hardee's, all of these places. They do research and they say, God, man, these things are like cigarettes. Whereas it takes cigarettes 20, 30 years. This is a little bit more, you know, nebulous just because of all of the other stuff that people eat and everything else. But if you find out that, look, in 30 years, the outcomes of people who eat this stuff, higher heart disease, higher cancer, higher. And you can directly, should you get rid of all the McDonald's? Now, my answer would say, well, if you say you're trying to get rid of cigarettes, shouldn't you get rid of McDonald's? But that gets a little dubious. Isn't that the same question with this, about the breast milk stuff? If you find out that outcomes are worse with kids who don't have breast milk in comparison to kids that do, would you try to enforce or, let's say, compel? Maybe a law is too strong. I think my let's, biggest... Let's say incentivize women to probably, do breast milk. probably my biggest issue with this is you're forcing me something to do with my Well, let's say incentivize. To... But see, I guess that's where it gets nebulous. Because at the point where you have a kid, it's not just your body. Like, if the mom wants to hang out... At a club throughout the course of the week. No, the kid is not getting hurt, but the kid is getting hurt because the kid is missing the motherly attention. There are laws that means you have to take care of your kid. So the government is telling you to some degree that you can't let your kid suffer because that kid is a person at this point. It's the same life. The mom, by virtue of having a kid, has to give up some of her rights to take care of the kid. It's not me saying it. She decided to have a kid. Now, it's one thing if the government decided mothers don't have to have kids anymore. Kids are going to be born in government factories and hatcheries, kind of like chickens. Then at that point, the mom doesn't have to deal with that responsibility. The government handles that. But then it's a question of, well, wait a minute, do you really want the government growing your kid? If not, then it goes back to the mom. Growing your kid? Okay, can we get but, back but, on track? But this, back on really track? Good, but this is on track. I mean, granted, this gets absurd. The abortion thing gets absurd because the kid is not even born. But my case more so is the kid is here. And in the same way, there's certain things that the mother has to give up in order to take care of the kid. Now, I was... The mother doesn't have to give that up. I was ill. Growing up, should my mom drop the things that she wants, her aspiration in life, and take care of her sick kid, or should she go about her own affairs? That's her choice, what she wants to do. What do you mean? Is it really her choice? She has a kid. What do you mean? The kid she, is sick. That's what she has to do. I'm saying, just by virtue of having the kid, there's certain obligations and responsibilities right, to feed that associated child. with it. To feed the child. Yes. Nutritious. What I decide to feed my child. So if you decide to feed your child ho-hos. There's some people down the street that are feeding their babies whole hoes. And you think those kids are going to turn out good? I, no, but that's not my... I'm, that's I'm, my point! That's my that's point! That's not your decision if as you government get, to go in and force that baby to, to force the baby to take away the whole hoes and give them carrots. But maybe it should be. Especially if you're going to come to this me later. Wait, wait, wait. Especially if later you're going to come to me and say, why do we have all this crime? Why do we have all not these people? Those that, yes, it is. Low IQs and those type of things are related. Like, I guess my point is, why on earth I mean, you're going to come to me later and be like, God, man, we're crime written. Or, God, man, these I'm, people listen, seem to be idiots. I'm not coming to you at all. You will if you get <laughs> hit in the head by somebody who takes your wallet. To you. And you find out later that that kid was red, fed on ho-hos that you've approved. I guess my point is, yes, it matters that those kids eat carrots or spinach or whatever kind of vitamin. Can we and get yeah, back? it Can matters that those kids get the, the Can juicy we get back milk. On track? Juicy milk. Come on. I'm clocking out of this conversation. Come on. I don't know if I had that juicy milk growing up. I don't know. In which case, we go going downstairs and put your mom in jail. Where is Diane? 
Jail may be too strong. I agree with you. Jail may be too strong. And maybe the way to go about this is incentivize. It's maybe the way to go. Strongly incentivize. I don't want to put people in prison for not feeding their kids breast Okay, milk. I nuke whales. Thank you for the super chat. We are going to go ahead on with what the fuck we actually came here to do. I don't even know how we got into this conversation. Because Mrs. Been on Thomas. Because you kept saying Mrs. Thomas. And I was like, God, man, it feels like ownership to me. And we got into this conversation about ownership of bodies and how... There's certain societal imprints that goes back like a generation that still is in play. History has no stopping point. This is no point where it stops. Okay, so, um, all right, we have about 115 people here. If you're enjoying the shenanigans that have ensued on this channel, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Um, the thumbs up does encourage more people to join because it makes it more visible within youtube yes but um this is the weekly patron appreciation contributor aka appreciation. contributor appreciation aka we love you show um thank you for everything uh, yes that's segment. exactly what that is um of course if you are not aware or if you have forgotten this show is of course live after the live show it is going to be taken down and viewable only to patrons so if you are a patron please make sure that you log in and check out the entirety of this video we do have a couple of quick updates We've been before going for we get in. Minutes? Yeah, 21 minutes. Of you feel PM. real strong about giving those kids ho hos, don't you? I feel real strong about deciding what the fuck to do with my own body. Fuck the kid. That kid get formula if I deserve, if I decide you getting formula. You said ho hos. I'm not giving my kid ho hos. You said ho hos. You said if those if those parents oh, decide we to give their kid ho hos. We're not going back. I'm just saying you All got right, real strong so, on that point. In the same vein of patron appreciation, the show is going to be put up on Patreon platform. So if you are a patron, make sure that you go in and check out the entirety of the video. Um, one new announcement that we do have is that starting today, the patron appreciation slash contributor appreciation will be segmented. Yes. So these videos, as you can see, and as you know, have a tendency to cover many different topics because they are pulled from the patron content. Um, usually what happens is we just upload the whole two hour, three hour video, and you just have to kind of get in where you fit in and see where your topic is. And please give us your suggestions, by the way. Yeah, because we didn't get any. We didn't get any this week. You know, I, but I, let me finish what I was saying. I've said before. Let me finish what I was saying. I, I do a bunch of alien videos. <laughs> no, you're not. So, <laughs> punishing the audience. So starting today, I'm going to go in and cut them up and put titles on them. So you will see ridiculous breastfeed argument between Mr. and Mrs. Thomas. And then you just click on that one and that's the one that you'll see. I think that should be something for everybody. And then we can put that up for everybody. Because I think that's honestly, that. I mean, that's the crux of the conversation, that's right? Fine. The woman's body's But thing. what I'm saying is every single one of those will have their own individual video that will be uploaded. So it won't be up as quickly because of that. Like yes. it might not go up until this afternoon, depending on how long. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. Also, um, I want to send a shout out to the gentleman, or we want to send a shout out to the gentleman that um, sent some support through the mail. I'm not going to put their name out there because... We didn't get permission to do that, and we're not sure. You will be getting something that's just as a thank you in the mail. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're not aware, you can send anything legal yeah. that you would like to send to Jamal through the mail. Anything in general. In the I'm not post office snitch. box. Don't put weed in the mail. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> you put weed in the mail. You can a you? lot. Oh, I thought you said I put weed in well, the mail. I, mean, I was don't, like, no. I... Don't, don't tell me. Because I don't, I don't want to get implicated in a crime. No, there's nothing But if you want to, you know, one. Blaze, what if you got one and you want to send one in the mail? Do you, boo? I ain't got nothing I, to I'm do just saying I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm going to tell you right I now. I will blaze some, that and say thank no, you. No. If but... some green stuff come in the mail <laughs> and you do something and smoke it, <laughs> you're just an in. idiot as the person who sent it in the mail. Uh, shout out to, no. th there's a few people here. <gasps> Jeff, and there's no way I'm getting everybody, but Jeff Kuntz has been sending me stuff from like viewer number three. Like he's been he's been doing this for years. Excuse me. Um, and you know I'm not the greatest at always responding to people sending me stuff. So, but that's just because I get a lot in regards to content and people think. But H B Jeff Kuntz, Cheryl Sanchez. I think if I'm not mistaken, Cheryl is the one who sent the book. She sent this awesome video with John Pilger um, on the rise of China. That is an amazing video. And I was, I was sitting. That was the thing I was sitting there reading this morning, or listening to this morning. Pilger is an amazing um, thing. And there was stuff in that video that I didn't. No so she sent that to you? Yeah. So I wanted to do that as one of the videos as a patron appreciation today, but I don't think we're going to have time. We'll see. Especially not after the boob shenanigans. Yeah. So, the, um, oh, last quick important update. If you have been under a rock for the last 48 hours and did not know Jamal's sister channel, 
the black, <laughs> the black box, box is now live. It's live, but if you put that into YouTube search, it will not come up. That's okay. You're going to find it. Yeah, you'll find it. Um, the video that was posted Saturday at 1 a.m., Jamal and I did together, um, it's titled Special Announcement. No one watched it because it was a special announcement. You guys obviously don't care about special announcements for the channel. Nobody cares about special announcements. I told you nobody cares about special announcements. If you, if you want to see the video, the easiest way to get to it, of course, it's for some reason it's I've not showing it. up when you... Oh, it's a, it's available now on Grassroots Soapbox. Yeah. So the link in that video is going to take you to the Black Box yes. YouTube page. If you like it, please so consider make sure, subscribing. Yeah. Check it out. Subscribe. The Black Box is a new channel that is going to house any type of analytical shenanigans that come out of his brain that could go from star, star trek, trek to comics superman. which the first one is superman to if UFO you haven't content. seen it ufo content i know it's a weird mix anything. right that's why i call it the black box it can um, be anything it can be anything <clears throat> the it's it's political musings within the context of like comic book universes if that makes sense like what is the reality that is taking place on the ground in these various um environments that these guys created these author authors create like what's the real what does it look like in real world terms? Not the propaganda that the artists put out. Like, for example, Star Trek. No, we're not doing that here. No, 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 we're not doing it. I'm just making <laughs> the point that the, like, the perspective of Star Trek is given through somebody who loves Star Trek. It would be like if somebody was in the military and they gave this thing about how awesome it was to be in the military. Like, but And then you get into the real world terms of these guys are actually blowing shit up and they're killing people. You know I what think, I mean? It's that, that dichotomy. All of that kind of... But, but real world stuff also. Yeah. Like, the black box is not limited to... It comic book stuff right i struggle over that because my thought was are people gonna is that gonna mix things up like if you're doing a ufo subject that's legit like no bullshit in the, in, in those like subjects. the one about the navy yeah right like the one about the navy you're looking week. at real world terms of what this means um <clears throat> that's what black box is it, it's not it, it's the stuff that's fictional is clearly fictional and the stuff that's not i want to say it's clearly not um and it's looking for political ramifications for those things so i think it's i like it Okay. So far. There's, so check it out. There's one video up, but two more going up that deals with stuff that I've had on this channel. Yeah. And those are, for the most part, not going to be live, just as a FYI. Yes. Um, so we can try to add some cool stuff and graphics and all that good stuff. But yes. um, maybe occasionally live stuff. But let me get to um, Super Chats. If you are not aware, I have my phone here because I like to kind of read the comments so that we can use the screen for something else. Lane Wilson. Thank you for the Super Chat. Wayne says, Kamala Harris makes kids go to school. Truancy. Also, your mom just said you weren't breastfed. I wasn't you breastfed. You turned out to be fine. I think that's what's wrong with you. I have kidney failure. Oh. I had knee pain going from the time that I was like five years old to the time I was 17 <clears throat> years old. Literally. Medically. Yeah, like, mom, that wasn't a, disease, a good. Yeah, that that's not a good. I'm not a good, good example for this. <laughs> yeah. But this is kind of exactly making my point. This is making my point. I had. I had. I okay, wait, 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 wait. Is, wait let's but going go. from the time I was a kid to the time Donald I was Smead. Um, thank you for the super chat. Donald says, we are continuing on with this breast milk conversation. Okay. What if a woman has super milk in relation to other women where her milk will turn you into LeBron James with Neil deGrasse Tyson intelligence? Should she be forced to sell her secret sauce? Yes. Really? You can't have a better world. What if you have, what, so then should we take the sperm from like the most successful men of the world and make you sell your sperm? If it shows that the people will, but see, success is different. Like saying LeBron, if, in fact, even the LeBron James super milk is a little different. Um, what we count as success is a little bit different than what individuals need to necessarily aspire for. What individuals want are specific to the individual. Once the person is here, then that person kind of make decisions based on what they have at their disposal. So that's it's a chicken and an egg thing. No, I don't necessarily think the person should be taken. But do I think from the standpoint of if we know that something makes people better versus worse, then maybe, I mean, because we're not talking about making somebody a superhuman being. Like, you know, we're not talking about creating a Michael Jordan. We're just talking about not creating a Forrest Gump. Like, how do we insist, how do we ensure that the kid is healthiest, is less physically or mentally infirmed, with the knowledge that a physically infirmed kid or a kid that is not mentally altogether there hurts the larger society? It's the same argument for the abortion thing. And I know it's in an odd way. Forcing women to have a kid creates a society where those kids eventually grow <clears throat> up and terrorize that society because those moms didn't want to have that kid and that kid grew up in a society that did not want them. 
Once those kids are born, the Republicans don't want to have anything to do with them. And the Democrats are feckless and utterly useless in ensuring that those kids have a decent living. So let's put this in context. When we're talking about making sure that those kids eat a nutritious foods, it's because we want them to have the best nutrients possible for their bodies and minds to grow. We want them to have the best opportunities that they possibly have. And it. our society I benefits from those kids being able to do I that. So if a mom is saying, <clears throat> it's my body and if I want to feed those kids ho-hos, then yeah, I have no issue with the government saying, it is your body true, but that kid is a separate entity than you and you decided to have that kid and you need to take care of that kid with a certain regimen diet. And, and guess what? <clears throat> government will get involved if you were mistreating that kid or weren't feeding that kid or having that kid to be malnourished. The government's already gets involved with it. Formula isn't malnourishment. But we're going to go ahead into the into the thing. Formula is not malnourishment. My, um, that's true. Can you pull up my article? I told you I was being provocative with that article. I know. We're going to go ahead and we're going to move on. All right. So what, I think you're just disturbed how, how many, current, What time is it? Argument. Can you pull up it's the um, I'm YouTube? Which no, one? no. I need to get the timestamp from the YouTube video. So pull up Which one? our YouTube video. The one that we're doing right now. Oh. Right here. Trudy says Jamal down with Freedom Thomas. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> it's thirty-one All right, ten. Thirty-one ten. Yeah. All right, so Lord have mercy. I'm holding right, an so, argument. No, Dad. we're moving. I don't on. necessarily fully right, um, so the first agree with this. Actual topic of today. Thirty-one minutes into the live stream. Hopefully, we've given enough <laughs> opportunity for anybody that's going to join to join.